incident uh, happened that a, a woman was wearing an Arabic print dress and got harassed badly by the people of that area. It was a shock kind of street and the whole street was like moving at her, harassing her by wearing this kind of dress. And a brave lady, ASP Nakhi Shepanu, rescued her and it is a brave act because our people are not educated well for knowing that this is not because the dress has not the crown versus it was an Arabic letters and the letters were light and beautiful but our but unfortunately our young youth and our old youth also don't know the difference between uh, fashion and the and the religious uh, uh, base. Because they think that, because they think that they are very, uh, they are very religious, and they can't tolerate anything up to their religion. But it is not what it is. They should study and they should be educated enough for taking that call. But they are not. So I hope that Pakistan should address this issue, and they should do something. Okay, Baba. So why it has been happening in our Pakistan? Because I. Uh, as I told you earlier, Pakistani people and also many people don't know because they don't study. They don't know the difference between uh, what to do and what not to do. It was okay. If you think that this is not right, just tell whoever doing this. Why you, you can you can tell this by uh, not creating a walk about it but you did because your mindset is like that you can't say anything to anyone so softly you always you always and always say rudely and you hurt that people's feelings and it uh, and, and, and to say so that you are very religious then you should know that hurting one's uh, feelings is the most uh, is a most very powerful sin and you don't know about you are hurting someone's feelings and it is a more common problem so yeah excellent so what should our uh, government has to take the steps to reduce such kind of activities in our Pakistan they should uh, they should increase more awareness about this and about the I know this uh, Pakistan is an Islamic based country and the whole activities and I see many big stores and this is an Islamic based country and this is not we should promote yeah it is some kind it, 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 it is some kind of drug and we should not promote it but I see many vape stores and like all of this in our seat but but these people are not addressing it because they want it so they should think about it Assalamu alaikum it's me Nitesh Kapshi and today our topic uh, my topic is that uh, education system in Pakistan. As we know that education system in the Pakistan is very poor. So that is concerned thing that uh, we have to uh, solve it because as everybody knows that education is the key of success. Education can rely us and education is a like uh, a, as a uh, as a piece of uh, cake uh, we can say that. In lot of the, uh, the provinces uh, and areas, they have not uh, the primary schools and even they have no uh, the, the school systems but in which the Pakistan are suffering from that and have no budget from that. And high budget goes to the army, uh, about the 70 or 80 percent and the remaining profit, the education systems like so my thing is that the, uh, in the Pakistan we have to concern it and we have to solve with the problem of it. So, As a students, which kind of problems you are facing? Uh, like as qualified teachers, uh, like as infrastructures, uh, like as uh, uh, the school disciplines and so Thank you.
understand from now on that uh, uh, the Islam basically Islam is a not a country. Islam basically Jews come and uh, covered Islam land, oh, sorry Palestine land, and uh, the kids of Gaza are killed in Palestine and must uh, fight back to Palestine uh, for Palestine. And uh, our Muslim countries are not helping Palestine. Why? I have a question. Why the Muslim countries are not fighting? And why our media is not showing them? And why our media is controlling them? I have a question about this. And all Muslim countries, why they are not helping Palestine? It's a big issue about religion and humanity. Why? So this is my first question. Why they are not helping? And second question is that why? Muslim countries are not giving resources to Palestine. This is a big issue and a community issue and a religious issue. And uh, always take a step to the, this, this issue and uh, apart about their uh, kids in Gaza, why they are killing and why 